Welcome to the Chic Assignment for March 2021. I'm Jennifer here and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. I am here to present the Chic Assignment for March and this is a wonderful month of assignments. I can't wait to jump in. The Chic Assignment is a monthly challenge that I propose to my viewers where we immerse ourselves in arts and culture and learn about new composers, artists, and poets. So if you have a friend who is looking for something like this, consider inviting them to take part in the Chic Assignment for this month. The Chic Assignment is brought to us by The Chic Society, which is my private membership group here on YouTube. Membership is only $1.99 a month, and I do one podcast every Friday, and we go live once a month. So thank you to The Chic Society for bringing us The Chic Assignment. Chic Assignment number one, we are going to study the music of classical composer Clara Schumann. So you have probably heard of her husband, Robert Schumann, who is one of the world's most famous classical music composers, but very few people know that his wife was actually extremely talented in her own right. So this month I am assigning a wonderful performance by Isata Kane Mason, who is actually the sister of Sheke Kane Mason, who I have um, assigned on the Chic Assignment in the past. And she is performing the Piano Concerto in A Minor, Opus 7, Number 1, Allegro. And this is composed by Clara Schumann. So it's a wonderful short performance that I hope you will be able to check out this month. We are going to learn more about Clara Schumann. She is an extraordinary woman in the mid-month check-in. Chic Assignment number two is to enjoy the poetry of Christina Rossetti. Christina Georgina Rossetti was an English poet who wrote romantic, devotional, and children's poems. She lived from 1830 to 1894. My favorite poem by Christina Rossetti is Amor Mundi, which I'm going to read at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around until the end of that. We are going to learn more about Christina Rossetti and enjoy her poetry in the mid-month check-in. Chic assignment number three is to work on the seasonal transition of your wardrobe. Now, I'm sure that this is the case for many people. Where you are is still freezing cold. It's winter, so I understand that, but it's time to think about what you're going to be doing for the upcoming change in season because it will eventually come. What is your plan? If you are in the Northern Hemisphere, it's time to go through your spring summer clothes and assess what you're going to be bringing back into your wardrobe. What is going to stay and what do you need to perhaps purchase in order to make your spring wardrobe work for you? So we're going to be exploring this in the 10 item wardrobe, of course, on the channel this month. And I look forward to doing that with you. Chic assignment number four is to declutter and organize one cabinet in your home that is driving you nuts. <laughs> so the reason why I'm posting the chic assignment one day early, this is the last day of February when this is going up, is because tomorrow on March 1st, I am doing a whole house declutter video as part of the Mega March Motivation with the Minimal Mom. And I'm really excited for another collaboration with Dawn. So make sure you come back to the channel tomorrow to check that out. It's going to give you so much decluttering motivation, or at least I hope it will. Okay, as we close out the video, I would like to read Amor Mundi for you. This is by Christina Rossetti. Now, Amor Mundi means love of world or the love of worldly things. That's what it translates to. So this is my favorite poem of hers and let's dive right in. Oh, where are you going with your love locks flowing on the west wind blowing along this valley track? The downhill path is easy. Come with me and it please ye. We shall escape the uphill by never turning back. So they two went together in glowing August weather. The honey breathing heather lay to their left and right. And dear she was to dote on, her swift feet seemed to float on, the air like soft twin pigeons, too sportive to alight. Oh, what is that in heaven where gray cloud flakes are seven, where blackest clouds hang riven just at the rainy skirt? Oh, that's a meteor sent us, a message dumb, pretentious, an undeciphered solemn signal of help or hurt. Oh, what is that glides quickly where velvet flowers grow thickly, their scent comes rich and sickly, a scale and hooded worm. Oh, what's that in the hollow, so pale I quake to follow. Oh, that's a thin dead body which waits the eternal term. 
Turn again, O oh my sweetest, turn again, false and fleetest. This beaten way thou beatest, I fear, is hell's own track. Nay, too steep for hill mounting, nay, too late for cost counting. This downhill path is easy, but there's no turning back. So this poem sounds very fun and pithy to the ears and uh, the meter and rhyme is really pleasing, but it's quite poignant. She's talking about um, the easy downhill path, being in love with the world and worldly things, never taking the uphill path, never doing the right thing or doing what's hard. And so they come across these things along the way that are warning signs, but other things seem so beautiful. You know, it's like that all that glitters isn't gold, right? And then that last line, this downhill path is easy, but there's no turning back. So good and so true. So I hope that you enjoyed Amor Mundi by Christina Rossetti. We're going to be reading more of her poetry this month. Let me know what your favorite Christina Rossetti poem is in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us for the Chic Assignment for March. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.